River State Governor Yusum Wiki has taken a swipe at the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, saying to Yocha Yu, over his statement against Governor Samuel Atam of Benue State. He dared Ayu to stop any candidate of the party from contesting an election if he thinks he has the powers to so do. Ayu had said he has the power to stop Atom and others from contesting the 2023 elections while speaking to supporters in his country home. However, Wike, while briefing newsmen, said Ayu's statement is further damaged the image of the PDP which should be gaining the trust and confidence of the public to rescue Nigeria. So the issue of people sacking him does not arise. All we are saying, keep to the agreement that yes, in order for a party to show inclusivity, in order for a party to show we're not marginalizing any zone, keep to the agreement that the presidential candidate will come from the north, as it has come from the north, and the national chairman will come from the south. So saying that nobody can sack him <laughs> does not arrive because nobody has said he must be sacked. For you to be sacked, there are procedures of sacking people. All we are saying for Nigerians to believe, you know, if at this point in time you are the national chairman of a party who has told Nigerians, who has told Nigerians that this is what you do if this happens. And now that has happened. And you're running away from doing that. So how do you think Nigerians will not believe you? Assuming you try to tell them to vote for your party. Governor of River State, yes, some week here there. And uh, the Atiku Okowa presidential campaign organization has assured that the foreign engagement by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, in the U.S. will yield unprecedented investment inflow, revamp the productive sector and create massive jobs for our youths immediately. If uh, he assumes office come May 29, 2023, campaign spokesperson Kola Ologbadinho says that Tiku's current visit to the U.S., where he is scheduled, amongst other things, to engage the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's U.S. Africa Business Center, will further build a policy trust and will fast track economic recovery and enhance peaceful coexistence in the country. Oh, and I've been joined, of course, by the man behind that statement, spokesperson, one of the spokespersons of the Presidential Campaign Council, Kola Alokbadiyo, who also happens to be a member of the National Executive Council of the party. Kola. National Executive Committee. 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 Thank you for being here. Like, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. The PDP. Yes, some week here. It's because like, of the imbroglio. It's getting you, too. It is getting to not just me, but Nigerians are wondering what is going on. We had that primaries months ago. ago. Here we are. Just barely four months to the election. Yes, some week here. And the G5 members of his team and those who believe in what he's fighting for, for the resignation of Iyoche Ayu, they are still pushing forward. Where are we with the peace negotiations? Well, thank you very much, Amaka. <clears throat> and Christian, good evening. How are you? you? Well, I believe that reconciliation will not be foreclosed. It's a continuous process. And I am of the opinion, and I hope, that at the end of it all, in spite of this infighting, that we'll get somewhere and have our peace. And going to the election as one indivisible political party. But this is not strengthening the position of the PDP. I mean, when you look at the brick bar, you know, it's uh, really, really uh, one for concern for you, members of the party, the supporters, and even Nigerians to draw their conclusions from there. A house that is not, uh, a house divided against itself, you know, can really not stand. Well, uh, while I agree with you that members, supporters, leadership of the party. You are all at daggers drawn. No, we are not all at daggers drawn. But it seems that are, way. No, 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 it doesn't it's seem that, that way. way. We are not all at daggers drawn. The, the disagreements are very clear. And they have their points. They have their focal points. And the focal point of this particular disagreement is that convention was held. A candidate 
in March. The process was unquestioned. Members have aligned. But there are still members who believe that they have issues. There were pledges. There were the, pledges made, assurances the, given. Christian, mm. I'm not in a position to speak to what I don't you are know. Not, you, are not, you are an insider there. You are <laughs> in the caucus. You <laughs> are in okay. the caucus. The, uh, the, color. the pledges we are talking about yes. was not discussed at the caucus. Even if I was a member of the caucus. You won't, you I, won't I, come I, out I, to I, tell I, us I was, now. No, I, but but I Governor, but Governor Samuel Lotom said so much about it. Remember? Yeah, it's in the place of Governor Samuel Lotom yeah. to know and to speak to it. Yeah. And if I don't know, you don't expect me to come before Nigeria and say, I come and tell lies. I am not aware of agreement at the caucus level because I am not a part of the caucus. You just said it, I'm a member of the National Executive Committee. So it is whatever that is brought before the National Executive Committee that I can speak to. I can also speak to issues that are raised in the presidential campaign uh, council. And, and, and the party chairman seems very unbending, unreconciliatory that, look, it's got the power to remove any of these uh, I think political that, actors and the rest. That's, I, I would want, you, would you, would Christian, you? I want to say that that statement, I believe, must have been misrepresented or misconstrued. By, by who? By, explain, not by the Nigerian media explain. that you no, represent, no, 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 no. too. No, you're I, a journalist. Yes, I am. Before I, I, want a politician. To, I, want to, I want to explain it. You, you're using that language, I want too? to explain I say it, it, it has been misconstrued. <laughs> I want to explain it. Okay. You know, you know, you know, we understand issues better than each other. Mm. I believe that the reference point of the national chairman is because if you, I, I read the interview, you understand, and he was talking. I believe he was talking about before the candidates emerge, mm. he could have stopped them. But you know, now with the new electoral act, you know, it yeah. you cannot stop because. any candidate with a new electoral. Act. So. I believe what he was saying, and I think, I, I think from what I read, I think he referenced something like that, that he signed their forms. So what he meant, that's by my own belief, what he meant is that before he signed their form, he had the right not to have signed but, but their form. I think I that's what he's talking about. However, however, uh -huh. I think we're in a situation that inflammable remarks are not required. Mm. And I say this with utmost apologies to those who are involved in this matter. I think, like I've always continued to do, I think we, should, we need to step down issues of inflammatory uh, uh, statements. statements in the public space. Especially from the leaders of the party. You have a candidate who touts himself as a unifier. Yes. Five months after he emerged as a presidential candidate, here we are still having a conversation a about the house. runner up. Mm. What uh, is really going on in the PDP? Kola, that's exactly what I need to find Amaka. out. From. And are you worried about the implications of this prolonged issue going into the elections come 2023? Amaka, the impact on your party? I find it strange when people want to say that or uh, make declarative statements that because there are challenges or there are disagreements within the party, that means Atiku Abaka is not a unifier. Far from it, Amaka. Very far. The issue in contention, like I said earlier, is not personalized to Atiku Abubakar. In one of his comments very recently, I heard Governor Wiki saying that I have accepted Atiku Abubakar. I have accepted Oku. I heard it. Yes, so he said in that. So in that wise, mm. you cannot say that, oh, because there are disagreements within the context of the party, because that uh, how you should go or how you should not go, is it, within the context of the party. If it's no not man. It's, it's not one, within. It's not within. One man. You didn't get my question. My question okay, maybe is you the fact that five here. months after we're still having the same conversation so it's not a, about it, the same people. I understood you clearly, and I said that this is agreement. Mm -hmm. It's not within the context of the individual person, that personality at Ikwabaka, because you are taking away from him by saying that that means not a unifier. And I say no, that's not correct. It's not correct because it is within. It is within. It is within right. the context right. of the whole some party. Because Governor Wike is not saying that Atiku Abaka should not contest as president. Has he but said he's that? definitely not supporting with, him. With, with, let's, take it one after, let, let's take it one after the other. Uh -huh. He has not said, Governor Wike has not said that Atiku cannot contest or he should not contest. Governor Wike is saying that, look, remove the national chairman. 
removal of the national chairman falls within the context of the People's Democratic Party as a political party. That's the point I'm making. That's the, that's the point I'm okay, making. Okay, that, that, that's very fine, uh, Kola. Um, maybe I should come from this uh, biblical perspective that if one finger or one arm, you know, is going to make you commit sin, you know, uh, the Bible says chop it off. But here I'm going to, you know, put it... Uh, um, see logistically now, if one man is going to bring down the umbrella or tear it to shreds, why are you taking time to get him off? The yeah, well, 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 first and, first and <laughs> foremost, your biblical um, uh, analogy. I said, no, uh, see logistically now. Yes, now. biblical uh -huh. analogy does not fit into a political arena. Oh, really? Yes. When I was going to contest election, mm. St. David Mark, my boss, said, you know, you like to play holy. But this is an arena where even God and Satan can play together. So you should understand. So the aspect of the Bible that you have brought is, let's keep that aside okay. first. Now, <laughs> now, talking about one finger causing the umbrella to crash or to do whatever, like I said in the beginning, is within the context of the party. Of the people under the umbrella. Oh, yes. I know. Of, they yes, of people under able the, of to the hold party, the umbrella the, and stitch so, it together. So, so, so it's possible that they will be able to hold, like you said, mm -hmm. the umbrella and stitch it together. And whatever that is going to happen, it cannot happen within the context of the party. That's why I was happy when you said, I read, or when, you, when was that Maka, that said, that, oh, they are a push to hold neck. I believe that. All this outward demonstration, of disagreements are what can be brought inside mm. and reconciled inside. As long as we continue to play in the public arena, we will do a disservice to the party. You had a neck just last month where a vote of confidence was actually passed. How are you? Yes. Well, let's move beyond that right now. Talk but about that, no, 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 don't that, move. That was don't move, Amaka. <laughs> that was the decision. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Which Thank I said, you. a vote of confidence. Yeah, it is what it is, it. really. <laughs> but at the end of the day, let's talk about, as we get ready to wrap this up, um, the Fetch ratings. Um, they said they've touted the APC uh, presidential candidate to win that election. Now, you came out yesterday with a strong worded mm -hmm. statement where you actually said it's speculative and uh, it doesn't support exactly what's happening in Nigeria. So talk to us about why you feel like that rating should not be it's not, me, it's not me that felt that. It's the campaign organization that felt that way. Mm -hmm. But having, having said that, having said that, uh, Amaka, when you look at the political space, of the country. Does it reflect what they have fitch or whatever they name they call it brought out? It doesn't. Is it how oh, wow? I don't I really don't understand where they were coming from. And I'm being honest with you. How? Where? Is it possible? The only candidate that can win 25% of votes in majority of states as we speak today is Atiku Abubakar. How? Just please, like you asked, please, how? Please, how not? No, just uh, how not? He's the one whose party is in all the elections. The other parties are not in all the elections. You know how votes are carried. You know how votes are done on the election day. It's not just because we are shouting at the court, 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 or PDP, PDP, PDP. There are people who will contest this election in the state houses of assembly, in the state, in the, in the house of rep, in the senate, in the governorship before we go to the president. These people will go and fight for their parties and mobilize votes in the election. Does Asiwajibola Tinubu looks like somebody that the Southeast will vote for, so that he will go and do eight years as president, then the power will go to the North, then the Southeast will be, will be waiting in 16 years, whereas the Southwest has done presidency and the South-South has done presidency. Does it look like something that will manifest? Look, the people who wrote that report, they are, they, I think they are, they are like just children who are playing on sand. That's the way I, that's the way I see it. And I'm being honest with children you. And I can say, they are children who are playing on sand. And I can say it today if they stand in front of me. I will say it to them because they do not understand I hope, I hope. the political climate called Nigeria. Okay. 
I Good just, place to draw the anchor tonight on this conversation. Yeah, I just yes, hope we'll be able to get uh, the uh, fish uh, it, it, people and, of course, uh, APC definitely will come absolutely. to reply to uh, well, Kola. Uh, Kola spokesman. I, am, I, I am prepared any day, any time uh, to be called here to face either fish or APC okay. on that report. Thank right. you for joining us tonight in the program and uh, we do wish you and your party all the best.